what you're about to witness is a reaction to one of my most anticipated trailers to what is going to be one of the most anticipated and best games of all time. After a whole day on set in the blistering heat, after not sleeping for 24 hours, I get to come home to this awesome surprise and it is a new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer from the 2023 Summer Game Fest. I'm talking Cloud Strife, I'm talking Tifa Lockhart, Barrett Wallace, Aerith, Gainsborough, I'm talking Sid Highwind, Vincent Valentine, Namaki, Yuffie Kisaragi, hey, and even Ketchi, as they would say, or others would say Kate Sif. <sighs> I am so excited, you guys have no idea. Let's begin. We have 3 minutes and 29 seconds of trailer action to go. I hope we get a bomb dropped on us. We're still here at the scene of this terrible disaster caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. Whoa, what? Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. What the heck is going on? Wow. Just look at it all. It's so green. Where are they? Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. <laughs> what? It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I was wondering the planet. What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Tifa is Life entrusting an Aerith. It is the very oh my God. of our star. It's Bogenhagen. <gasps> the blood coursing through its Bogenhagen. very veins. <laughs> According to Hojo, they're connected Where is to it? Sephiroth. Where? Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever Eagle happened, Heim. he's alive. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Northern Crater. Well, <gasps> I think we woke it up. Angered it more like. What is that? A boss fight. Nice! Nanaki and Barret. Team attack, come on. Feast your eyes on the Turk's latest. And Elena! Elena! Oh, she may be snap. new, but she's still a Turk. <gasps> oh my god! She went off! Oh my god! Hi, Jifa! Cloty! Oh my god, there's just so- I can't. I can't right now. Yes, Air and Tifa! Oh my god! Yuffie and Nanaki! I can't- and Cloud and Barret! Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't compute. I can't compute this one. Keep her away from me! <laughs> Yuffie and Cloud! They say she's a monster. That she can peer Genova. inside you. Into the very depths of your soul. That she can become those you hate, those you fear, those you love. That's very poetic. Three, yeah, yeah. You murdered my dad. Ooh, Nibelheim you flashback. You my village. Do you know that I killed her? So, oh wow, who is she? that's brutal. Yep, early 24, 2024, I called it. So, we have a lot going on in this trailer. We have the the mysterious opening, which shows the party injured in what was, I assume, to be the end of part one after the battle in the expressway. But how can that be when the party is, is found to be alive? So, something's going on with these concurrent timelines and I don't know if it's 
you know, a way to bait the players and the fans into thinking, oh, something's bad, bad is going to happen, or just to show how, how much or how quickly fate can turn awry in another timeline or in another, in another universe. And it's interesting that Rebirth is playing with this too, and it follows off the heels of the ending of a remake, which a lot of us were shocked with. Because, you know, let's be honest, about 95% of the game was very, very faithful to the original. It's just the whole direction that went at the end was kind of shocking for us. But it, it does tie into the original more than we know at the same time, because the whispers appear to be very connected to the planet. Yeah, we see the party traversing many different areas. I think I saw the Northern Caves. We definitely saw Nibelheim. We probably saw Genova on the ship. Um, this is my first watch through, so I'm just kind of <laughs> trying to piece together together everything I, see, I I just saw. But it it was it was very unexpected. The first part, I will say that. But the rest, th this is rebirth. This is focusing on the rebirth of, a rebirth of Sephiroth. And because his real body is in the Northern Crater at rest, it, it's working up to his revival. Because up until the point of, spoiler for those of you who don't know, Aerith's death, there's a lot of Genova mimicry going on. Sephiroth is, is at his best here. We're gonna really... We're gonna really cry at this one. And I think that Aerith's death is gonna hit even harder because of, you know, how, how sweet she is in Remake. With that said, I'm gonna go and watch this many, many times to really make sense of what I just saw. But I hope that uh, all the other fans are in agreement with me and can't wait to play this next winner and uh, Make sure to check out my stream next winter because there will, or early 2024, because there will be a stream, I assure you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and um, check out my other videos. Stay tuned and yeah, bye-bye.